okay antifungal drugs antifungal drugs these drugs are used for the treatment of fungal infections first of all i will explain uh, something about uh, what are fungi which type of uh, pathology they cause fungi occur in two forms in our uh, in our body and also in environment one is mold and second is yeast form yeast form at 30, 37 degree centigrade that is body temperature at body temperature fungi occur in yeast form and at cold temperature for example 22 degree centigrade these are present in mold form mold forms are hyphae of fungi these are vegetative structures these are called for example in this like of shape and this divided by budding these are called molds at a uh, 20 degree centigrade are present outside for example on the surface of bread uh, on necrotizing tissue that's but yeast are nearly in oral forms uh, in oval forms and these are present at body temperature 37 degree centigrade okay which types of fungi cause diseases in our body and how to treat them how to use antifungal drugs first of all histoplasmosis 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 is pathology caused by histoplasma fungal infection coccidio coccidio idomycosis coccidio idomycosis it is caused caused by coccidio idom uh, id idofungal infection next paracoccidio idomycosis coccidio idomycosis next blastomycosis blastomycosis these four fungi can cause pneumonia and cause pneumonia the most common the most common type of pneumonia is bacterial pneumonia from streptococcus pneumonia but if patient don't have any type of bacterial infection and we do uh, chest x ray and culture of bacteria bacteria but bacteria are absent and patient has pneumonia symptoms and pneumonia then we should also do koh uh, koh examination for uh, for fungal infection and these four types of fungi can cause pneumonia from lungs these can disseminate in inside can enter inside blood stream and can go to any other body organ for example to meninges and inside meninges these can cause meningitis when uh, they are going to pharynx they can can cause pharyngitis these four fungi are present mostly in immunocompetent persons immunocompetent immuno competent persons are those which have normal immune system these fung- uh, fungi can cause pathology in persons who have normal immune system and can cause pneumonia meningitis pharyngitis bone infections and can also mimic tb like infection uh, like granuloma formation inside lungs but uh, these fungi can are transmitted from aerosols from uh, inhalation from one person to another person okay next there are some fungi that cause uh, diseases in immuno suppressed person for example candida 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 albicans candida albicans uh, is normal flora of oral cavity and vagina it can cause uh, it can cause uh, esophageal thrush and oral thrush in aids patients aids in patients of diabetes mellitus in neonates and in those patients who use steroid drugs these four conditions produce immunosuppressant condition in aids there is deficiency of 
T helper lymphocytes and due to def deficiency of T helper lymphocytes overall immune system don't work and patient is at risk that fung uh, candida albicon can cause infection and diabetes mellitus due to hyperglycemia neutrophils and macrophage do not work and fungal infection can occur in neonates uh, the lymphocytes are not uh, mature and uh, uh, lymphatic system is not well developed and uh, candida albicon can cause infection and in those patients who, who are using steroid drugs steroid drugs are also immunosuppressant drugs due to use of these drugs the patient may have any type of candida infection inside vagina or oral cavity or esophagus okay. how to treat them there are some fungi that cause skin infections like tinea versicolor tinea versicolor tinea versicolor the organism of tinea versicolor is melasesia furfur melasesia furfur melasesia furfur this organism grows on side our skin skin has three layers outermost is epidermis then second is dermis and third layer is subcutaneous tissue or adipose tissue subcutaneous fat when melasesia furfur grows on the surface of skin it it become invasive and goes inside and destroyed these adipose sites adipose tissue and when adipose sites are destroyed or damaged here are present fatty acid when these fatty acids are destroyed due to destruction of these fatty acids the acids are produced these acids damage melanocytes melanocytes are special types of cells that produce melanin melanin the brown black pigment our skin is due to melanocyte uh, molecule production melanin and this acid can destroy these melanocytes due to destruction of these melanocytes the uh, on the surface of a patient there can be hypopigmented or hyperpigmented patches hypopigmented or hyperpigmented patches hypopigmented patches because for example when melanocytes are destroyed there are no melanocytes no production of melanin the color of skin become white on that that area where these melanocytes are destroyed why hyperpigmentation uh, our normal system our normal body compromised by pro, uh, production of new melanocytes when new melanocytes are coming in that area and these are producing in very large number these can produce lot of mel melanin and this melanin can cause hyperpigmentation and hyperpigmented patch can also occur next some tinea can cause infections of head region some can cause infections of foot region for example tinea tinea capitis tinea capitis it causes infection of head and scalp region scalp head and scalp region next is tinea tinea pedis it cause infection of foot region the athlete foot is produced by tinea pedis next is tinea cruris tinea cruris tinea cruris cause uh, produce infection of groin region or we can say inner side of thigh and fourth one is tinea inguum it produces infection of nails okay fungi can cause infection of skin for example dermatophytosis can cause infection of head region like tinea capitis in head region tinea pedis in foot region tinea cruris in groin region tinea inguum in nails and tinea cruris in groin region and tinea versicolor the dermatophytosis of skin overall skin okay next how to treat these pathologies how to cure the infections of fungi for example this is one cell of fungi 
Fungi are eukaryotes. These have well defined nucleus and well defined organelles. Their organelles are covered by membranes. And fungi has also cell membrane and cell wall. In our human cells, cell wall is absent, but cell membrane is present. But fungi have also cell wall, cell membrane, well-defined nucleus, chromosomes, well-defined organelles like sarcoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, etc. This is cell wall. This is cell membrane. Cell membrane. The cell membrane of fungi has one unique quality that here is present one molecule that is called called ergosterol. Ergosterol. This ergosterol is not present inside cell membrane of, uh, of bacteria, inside cell membrane of humans, inside cell membrane of plants, but it is present inside the cell membrane of fungi. This is called ergosterol. Ergo ergosterol. Ergosterol is one unique molecule from steroid family it is like cholesterol that is present in human cell membrane but it is ergosterol not cholesterol it is the main target for antifungal drugs okay which type of drugs we are using and how they act on the fungal infection number one drugs acting on cell membrane drugs acting on cell membrane there are two drugs which has their mechanism of action on the surface of ergosterol present inside cell membrane. First drug is amphotericin B. Amphotericin B. And second drug is nistatin. Nistatin. These both drugs act on the molecule ergosterol present inside cell membrane. Second family of drugs are azole family. Azole family. Family. Here are present drugs like fluconazole, fluconazole, ketoconazole, clotrimazole, itraconazole, voriconazole, miconazole, clotrimazole, and etc. Fluconazole, ketoconazole. Clotrimazole, itraconazole, voriconazole, miconazole. These are azole family drugs. I will explain their mechanism action. Next drugs are, for example, nucleic acid synthesis inhibitor. There is one drug called fluorocytosine. Fluorocytosine. Fluorocytosine act on nucleus. Next drugs are terbinafine. Terbinafine. Next drug is caspofenin. 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 And mecafenin. Mecafenin. These are drugs which we can use for the treatment of fungal infection. Azole family drugs are fluconazole. Clotrimazole, ketoconazole, miconazole, itraconazole, voriconazole, amphotericin B, nistatin, fluorocytosin, terbinafine, caspofenin, mecafenin. Next, how the mechanism of action of these drugs, how these drugs act on the surface of fungal cells and destroy these cells. First of all, I will explain the synthesis of ergosterone molecule, how this ergosterone molecule is produced and how our drugs are acting on this molecule. Ergosterone molecule is synthesized inside the cytoplasm of fungi. Inside the cytoplasm of fungi, there is a parent molecule that is called squalene. 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 On the surface of squalene molecule, one enzyme acts that is called squalene epoxidase. Epoxy. 